Depressed? There's no art being made. <laughs> and I know if I were to make art, I'd probably feel better, uh -huh. but it's not happening. Same way as I know for a fact, if I, when I'm depressed, I know for a fact if I go outside and walk around the block, I'm yeah. going to feel better. Yeah. But there's no going, there's no, there's no getting up. So why don't you? That's, this is the depressed, it's being depressed. That's how. Because <laughs> you're depressed. There's so, no get, I can't get up. Yeah. But that's what, I don't so, want. I don't want to get up. I can't get up. So yeah. thanks. So that's why I'm asked. So I asked you and you at least the reason why I was asking what it looks like and to describe it is to separate the word from the mm -hmm. action. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like we have. At this age. I feel like we have a strong enough relationship to the process to where we know what's going on. I don't feel like depression starts before it's depression, mm -hmm. before it's the word. And the reason why I was asking you is because like for me, when I said it was starting slow, I'm starting to see, I'm mm -hmm. seeing the common threads in the loop. Mm -hmm. I don't call that depression, mm -hmm. but I know that for what I, so I describe what depression feels like, and then I monitor patterns mm -hmm. that reproduce that feeling, and I have a strong enough relationship to it to where I know what the fuck I need to do mm -hmm to suspend or to stop the patterns. And then I choose whether or not I want to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to the point that you make, I know that I need, I know. So here's, you just said it. I know that I can go outside and feel better and I don't. Mm -hmm. It's not even an option. Right. I'm not, so, I'm not, I'm not doing but it. you're choosing it. <sighs> yeah. The, the, There's definitely times where I'm not fighting this right now, you know? And that's, so, yeah. And that's, that's okay too, mm -hmm. because we get, this is where I feel like the power, let me rephrase it. And I think this is important. I'd rather we talk about this. I'd rather we just do this and just say, fuck the other shit. <laughs> no more coasters. The relationship is to that conversation you get to not go but you don't get to say you don't know why you wait, don't wait. say it again you you get to not move but you don't get to say you don't know why oh right right you know why you're just choosing not to well you're not just you it is it's literally that simple <sighs> before bro i didn't know why yeah before oh, I didn't right, right. know why I that's, didn't. That's a scary place to be. That was yeah. scary as a motherfucker. Right. So, and, and and what I think is helpful to people who don't know is that there's a path you can figure it out. I figured it out. He's mm -hmm. figured it out. Mm -hmm. He knows what he needs to do. Right. He just doesn't do it with love. I'm saying this with love. Sure. Before I didn't know, I had to bump around so much. Mm. I had to be in the dark for so goddamn long. Yep. I had to talk to so many fucking idiots about <laughs> my feelings right. and, and, and trying to figure stuff out to where I've developed tools. I mm. know what the tools are. Mm -hmm. It's like saying I got a hammer, bro. If, we, if, you, if you separate the you and all of the other stuff and look at it in a very basic, if you had to nail a picture up on the wall and you needed a hammer and you got a hammer in there and yet and still you go and try to use your hand that's you that's not the hammer now I'm not gonna sit up here and look at you crazy for choosing to use your hand but I'm gonna ask you why you using your hand bro you got a hammer right there maybe me asking you why you're doing it that way will help you ask yourself why am I doing this this way when I want to hang this picture. Cause sometimes we just want to be in the shit. And that's ultimately what, where I think the conversation for me inside my head. Sometimes I just want to feel like shit. Flat out. I ain't got to call that depression. 
I ain't got to call that nothing. I just literally feel like feeling like shit. So I'm going to feel like shit for a minute. I'm going to tell my lady I feel like feeling like shit, and I'm just going to move in this way. That's where the communication is very important. Yeah. Because then if you're feeling like shit and not telling someone. Yeah. Yeah, that's a different thing, too. But if you know, you know walking around the block makes you feel better. You know doing the R shit makes you feel better. These things we know. So the real question is, mm. why are we not choosing that? That has nothing to do with depression. That's a different conversation, bro. Nah, th I don't know. To me, the depression is knowing what to do and not doing it. Mm. Or knowing that will help. It's not going to solve my depression, but I will feel better if I go outside. So what is depression? So, so this is what I mean when I... So removing the label, removing the label, we, it's not about making it going away. I feel like all this shit is just a part of life. This is what I tell myself to make sense of the shit. Highs is highs and lows is lows. Kids. Don't mm -hmm. like fucking sitting still. In the third grade, they like running around. You're not gonna call my kid ADHD because he likes running around. <laughs> so, life is hard. We don't necessarily always, I feel like through life, we develop tools. We acquire tools to help. The mental thing is real the inability to manage and to know what we need is real. But there are some of us who have a strong enough and who have developed a strong enough relationship to ourselves that know. So I don't think it ever goes away. I think we just get better at managing it. Mm. And sure. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Because the same dial that we turn this way, we get to turn the other motherfucking way too. And I thank God for the dial because I get to tap into people's emotions. I get to tap into feelings. I get this intuition when somebody needs a call, when somebody needs to be connected to. I know when some shit's still going on or whatever, whatever, whatever. So that dial works both ways. And in knowing that, I also know that I just move through it. It's not something that... Because I get to, I get to not be okay. That's that's a that's a choice. Mm. <laughs> I get to I get to not be okay. You when, so when you don't when you're not okay and you you so you look over at your wife right. Okay, let me get it. Let me say it something a different way. If your house was on fire, right, I'm out of there. <laughs> and you knew. That you had to leave, but you were depressed. Right. In that moment, you wouldn't be like, I ain't leaving. Right. You'd be like, I'm out this motherfucker. You walk around a the block then. <laughs> no, you're, you're totally right. It, so it's motivation. <clears throat> if you were to say, I would just sit in that motherfucker and let the, the roof just cave in on me, then I'd be like, okay, that's a different thing. But we know if we... And I'm not saying this to minimize, by the way, anything that you're sure. saying about your relationship to the stuff. What, what, I'm, what, I'm, what, what I feel like I'm in, what I'm, not feel, what I'm trying to do is to, to, to highlight a different perspective of the relationship with your choice. Like you have, you're choosing. Yeah, that. I, guess, I guess it comes down to, fight it or choose it I choose to fight it so much that sometimes I just give I, I, I'm not like 
I choose not to fight it. Well, I mean, don't and fight. So, sometimes, I don't. Sometimes you go through, right, and you just go through it. However you choose, however you go through it, that's how you go through it. Sometimes we get up and go outside. Sometimes I, we talked about this before. Sometimes I, I got to take care of plants. I got to do something. I got to get moving. I got to get my mind in this yeah. motion to start to, to start me to understanding that I'm going through this thing, right? Some of us decide that we're just going to go through it in these quiet spaces. And that's okay, too. But, I mean, some of us decide that we're going to walk around the block. Some of us interchange all that shit and however it needs to be interchanged. But there's a choice involved because you choose not to do anything. I choose to go through this sitting right here on this goddamn couch, doing nothing, being quiet. That's how I choose to go through it. But you understand that there's a there's an end to it, or there's a coming out of it, right? And I think that that, <coughs> and all this just cut off, because I think this is where, this is just us talking. <coughs> the thing that was freeing to me is when I realized that I was choosing it. Mm -hmm. And it, and I was beating myself up for choosing it. Mm -hmm. And having the conversation in my head that says, I know <coughs> I'm choosing this. I'm just gonna choose it. Like right now when I said my shit is starting slow, I'm choosing it. I know that I am, but I'm trying to understand why I'm choosing it mm. as opposed to judging myself for choosing it. Mm -hmm. I got this shit going on, as I was telling you before, with my lady. I'm choosing it. I'm trying to see. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I know that I'm choosing it because guess what? I know what the fuck I can do. I have my walk around the block equivalent. I have my art equivalent. I have all the things. I got the hammer. I know I can just go and nail this shit up. That is such a blessing, by the way, to be able to know. And some people, I don't feel, get to that. Mm -hmm. When they taking they self out, bro, they taking they self out because they don't feel that they can acquire those yeah, tools. Yeah, definitely. But here's saying. the thing, though. Even, even choosing to sit still and go through it that way is still dealing with it. But that's hard, bro. You're it's, right. Depending no, on that's the last that's the last line. Like, you know but, I mean? like but it's it's still no, seeing but, but, there is an end to it. But but, but 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 I'm going I'm going through this sitting still. Yeah like but I, I see what you're and it's it's all choices. But 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 that but that going see I don't feel that low is low yeah. and going through it is like years. And that is unbearable depending on what that person's low yeah. feels like to what them. What do you mean going through it is years? Going through it for years. Imagine <laughs> feeling your lowest right, low right. for years. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm saying if, okay, let's say. And they moving around. They look like they having a good time. Yeah. But yeah. they really ain't. But let's say, okay, let's say, you know, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I don't feel like doing shit. I don't, I'm not in a good space to do anything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just gotta sit there and, and, and sit there mm -hmm. and sit there until I feel like moving, Okay, right? That's part of it. Like, I'm not gonna beat myself up. I'm not gonna feel like I gave up because I'm taking a moment to sit still for a minute. But there are people who are sitting still for years. Exactly, that's very true. So that's what I'm saying. Right. So that, to just what yeah. you're saying, just sitting in it and chilling, is definitely necessary. Right. And you shouldn't beat yourself up. Right. But right. the but people who are it. taking themselves out of here right. are the ones who are stay feeling it. like that for years. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what their relationship is to it or what they felt like they couldn't go through, but I think it is helpful. I think it's helpful. There's something in my spirit that says it's right for people to know that you can feel that way and get to the other end mm -hmm. 
to where you have acquired tools and still choose to not use them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Still choose to not use them. Because what, you, what, I've, what I realized is that even now that I have the tools, I still don't use them. I spend all that time trying to acquire tools. Okay, I got the tools, now don't use them. Now what the fuck were you really dealing with, idiot? Let's have that. There's a different <laughs> conversation mm-hmm. that you have once you have the tools. You spend all of this time trying to find them, and once you get them, you don't use them? What the fuck is that about? We got to be honest about that. That's a different question than trying to get them, even when we go in and taking pills. When we go and we were getting, when, they were, when a doctor, let's say, when I, I, let's say I did take the pills that the doctor gave me when I was 31, 30, 31. I wouldn't have fucking kept them. I was trying to do some other shit. I'm having a whole <laughs> different kind of, com- I'm having something totally different take place up here. Because a lot of us are finding the tools and still choosing to not go through with them. I don't think that's depression. I think, I think, and that's why I don't like using the label. Because because what depression is for me is a mental loop that I don't feel like I can get out of. That's when I when I say depression. That's what I'm describing that is going on in my feelings and in my thoughts. And so breaking that, knowing how to break it, is that a disruption of depression? Or because I don't want to walk around here calling myself somebody who suffers from depression. I feel like I'm somebody who suffers from life. Mm-hmm. Life is fucking hard. And I don't even want to say it's suffering anymore. Like, cause like living is a part of living is suffering. So as I'm going through that process of trying to normalize these words and these labels and all of that kind of shit, the more I start to let the fucking words go and just start to start describing the feelings. And that's why I was kind of a little bit, not forcing, I was, I was focused on what does that shit feel like to you? And we get all the way to the tail end for you to say you like, you know what to do. You know, bro. You just told me. <laughs> you just told me. You put an extra burden on your wife. You just said that. To your mouth. You're choosing to be an extra burden. Mm. So the question is, why? Not to beat yourself up in that way, bro, but to understand it and then to ask yourself, do you want to choose something different? When do you want to choose something different? Because you get to choose something different. You got the tools. There's there's something going on in your relationship to the feelings that's different, I feel based on what you're saying. My father died, bro. He could have went to the hospital. He knew something was wrong. He didn't want to go. Why in the fuck would you Mm. not want to go to the hospital? He was 200 pounds, 6'2". Beautiful man. Pause. Beautiful. This nigga gets down to 110 pounds. Ain't nobody trying to get him to go check, see what the fuck is going on. Mm-hmm. Illness gets to a point to where he, now it's irreversible. But you could have gone. You knew something was wrong. Now, now you want to do everything you can. The choice was made. 